We're here at the world famous Cocoa Beach Pier with Jimmy Allen Sign. We saw his show Friday at the Scorpio Fest in New Smyrna Beach, and he was gracious enough to find some time for us to interview him here. Thank you, Jimmy. You're welcome. Thanks for having me here. You're Cocoa very... Beach, is this the real Cocoa Beach? Like, real Cocoa Beach, Florida? This is the this real is my thing. First time here. This is, this is really the Cocoa Beach. First time here. Yes, it is. Okay, first question I got for you, Jimmy. How long have you been a professional musician? Hmm, since the beginning of dirt. Um, a long time. I don't know, I would say, you know, I think I got my first guitar. My first guitar probably, uh, 81. About 1981, 82. You know, I was just a kid and, and, and I think Van Halen came out then and I, I thought, you know, wow, Eddie Van Halen. Uh, you know, I wanted to be Eddie Van Halen. Okay. I'll tell you a story about that after we finish our interview that you'll enjoy. Um, so you've been on the road for a lot of years. Who is your favorite band to tour with? Queensryche. Okay, and you drive bus for them sometimes. I do. Awesome. They're, they're friends, they're like family, they're great guys. Jeff Tate, Rudy Sarzo, Simon, Randy, Robert, uh, you know, I've become part of the Queens. Once you're the Queens Wright family, it takes a little while to get in there, but once you're in, they're they're just they're wonderful people. They are just such wonderful people to get to to get to travel with. Professionals, you know, they're very seasoned, so it's a so it's an easy tour. You know, they're, they're easy to get along with. They've already been there, done all that. So if there's no not a lot of uh, you know uh, crazy stuff that goes on, so it's real easy. Love very, it. Very good. Love it. Um, you've obviously played in a lot of venues. Which one's your favorite and why? Uh, the Hollywood stuff. The whiskey. Uh, I, I just remember, you know, you know, back when I was doing the whiskey stuff and the Roxy and, and, and uh, you know, the, the people there were just so into it. They're so in the Hollywood thing is a whole nother thing. It's a whole nother, it's a whole nother group of people. You know, they're, they're just totally into what you're doing. And uh, it, it's like you have your built-in crowd, whether whether they've seen you or not. You know, they come in and they just um, uh, they're just into you. They just love what you're doing. So uh, I, I would probably say that Hollywood scene was probably my best memories of uh, of any show that I've ever done. I can tell you that. Excellent. Your entire music collection gets wiped out. Every song you own is gone. What CD would you replace first? I would, I would probably say, uh, wow, that's a good question. That is a really good one. Um, how about, uh, I don't even know how to answer that one. Um, I would say Eric Johnson. I am a big Eric Johnson fan. Okay. I love his tone. Which CD? Um, uh, Gee whiz, that's another good question. Now you you, 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 you caught me here. Um, all of them. Because there's good songs on all of them. I don't have a favorite of Eric Johnson. There's something good on every one. Okay. There really is. Very Great good. guitar player. A singer comes and knocks on your door, and he says, Jimmy, I'm going to sing one song just for you. Who is the artist, and what is the song? Questions here. Uh, hmm. Gee whiz, one singer would come to my door. How about? Uh, man, I'm such a big Queens Right fan. I gotta tell you, man. I, you know, uh, I, I'd say it, it would be a toss up of probably. Jeff Tate singing Eyes of a Stranger or Sebastian Bach singing Quicksand Jesus. Okay. Maybe Absolutely. they'll both come. Maybe they'll if both they show up. If they see the video, maybe they will. Maybe they'll show up. <laughs> there you go. Living or dead, if you could jam with one artist, who would it be? Joe Satriani. You hear that, Joe? <laughs> okay. Okay, next question. Um, what music did your parents listen to when you were growing up? Um, 
Inkelbert Humperdinck. Nick. Inkelbert Humperdinck. That's right. I don't remember his name. I can remember them having that record. Okay. I can remember that, yes. Alrighty. Uh, what was the first album that you bought? Probably Van Halen. Uh, 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 the first Van Halen. First Van Halen, okay. First Van Halen, yeah, I remember that. Alrighty. Yeah. If you weren't a guitar player singer, what do you think your career would be? I would, I would probably um, own a construction company. Okay. Yeah, I love heavy equipment. I actually ran heavy equipment. I'm actually a heavy equipment operator. I'm actually really good at it. I did it all my youth. So, so yeah, I would love to do that. I still may. Okay. Yeah, we'll see how this music thing works out. There you go. Um, when you get home, when you're at home and off the road, what genre of radio station do you listen to? Um, I, I don't. I don't really listen to radio. I listen to a lot of Pandora, uh, and I have such a a, a, a list of artists. Uh, you know, anywhere from um, uh, from like jazz, uh, like the fusion stuff, uh, from Eric Johnson to to uh, '80s hair bands. Uh, there's a whole list of stuff. You know, if you if you listen to my music, you'll hear it goes from rock to uh, to hip hop to country and so I mean my musical influences are big I mean there's something there's something good in everything there's something good in every music uh, you know there's not just one great genre of music I mean there's something great in everything you could that you could listen to I could find something great in it you could you could ch almost change any channel I, I'm sure I could find something great on there and go wow I'm going out and buy that that CD today Fantastic. Great answer. How important do you think that social media is to success for bands today? Today, a must. It's a must. You know, when I first started playing music, you know, everybody wanted to get the big record deal. And, and, and you know, nowadays it's not even about record deal. I look at it as a, um, I look at it as a, uh, 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 it's a double-edged sword today. You, you, you may not have the big record label behind you with the money, but you have an opportunity to promote yourself in the way you want yourself to be promoted. You don't have, you know, Rob, Rob Smith over your shoulder going, we have to do it this way. You can do it your own way. You can do it any way you want to. It, it, it's your career. It's your social media page. And you can do it any way you want to. And that's the good side of it. And to be honest with you, I kind of like that. I'm not sure I could have Rob Johnson over my shoulder going, we have to do it this way. You can't release that song. When it's my favorite song that I put my heart and soul into and they don't want to put it on the record, I'm not sure how that would fly with me, really. So great. I think it's a beautiful thing. Another great answer. Um, what was your most embarrassing moment on stage? When I grabbed my guitar and I hired a what was supposed to be the best guitar tech in New York City and I strummed my guitar and it was way out of tune and I wanted to cry. I wanted to leave the stage. It was bad. Okay. It was bad. Yeah, not good. How many guitars do you have? Um, I think I've got six now. Six guitars? Yeah. Okay. PRS is by the way. Did I say that? Did I really say PRS? I did say PRS, didn't I? <laughs> there you go. Um, what do you like to do when you're off the road? When you're home and you got some time, what do you what do you like family. to do? Family. Family. Immediately. I don't get to see my family much. So, you know, you get out there for, you know, sometimes months on end and and and, and you know a, a lot a lot of people don't understand you know, a lot of people haven't been out on the road. And, and, and I have a lot of friends that, that they want to trade. They want to trade my job. They're, oh, I, I want your job. I want to do what you do. What they don't understand is that it's not for everyone. Being on the road is not for everyone. I have, I have a family too. And, and the end of a tour or the end of... When, when we're coming within that week of ending a tour... I'm looking forward to going to visit my family. I don't get to spend enough time with them. So if you have a family 
and you get to spend a lot of time with your family, that's so valuable. Because I've missed some growing up in my family. There's some kids that have grown up in my family that I missed growing up. So, you know, once again, that's a double, another double-edged sword. I love what I do. I wouldn't trade it for anything. But I don't get the time to spend with my family. Um, if you're out there and you have a family, I would say keep doing that because that's such a valuable thing. You, you can't get that back in time. We're going from this period to this period and you only get one shot at this. So keep doing that because it's important. Family is so important. Very good. Who would you like to give a shout out to? Uh, there's so many people, man, that, that have been there's so many people that have picked me up when I was down. You know, there was a period in my life where I was down. I mean, when I say down, it would have been hard to pick me up. And and where I'm at right now is it, it, such a, you know, I'm in a situation right now where, where, you know, I'm able to help other people. And it's such a blessing to be able to do that because when I was down, there were people who came to me and helped me. And, 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 and I feel so blessed to be in the position that I'm in right now. Um, you know, to be able to help friends when they need it and, and help people. I, you know, I, I don't know if I change it. I, I don't. I, you know, right now I'm in a place where I, I hope it continues. I want to continue doing what I'm doing right now. I really do. I hope it doesn't change anytime soon. Awesome. Well, that goes to my next question then. What one person would you say is responsible for keeping you on track? while you were learning your trade? Very good. Very good. We talk a lot. That, we have had a lot of talks. That's a great answer. That's a great answer. Last question and the hardest one. What question would you like to answer that no interviewer has ever asked you before? Um, well, kind of almost what I just said just a few minutes ago, um, has it been a hard road to where you are now? Okay. Nobody ever asked that That's question. That's a great question. And, man, if I had to do all that over again... I certainly would. There you go. I certainly would. Well, when we were talking earlier, you were saying it's not all the flowers that, that people see. And we see that, too, because we're tied in with a lot of bands, and we're backstage when they don't get paid and, and things that happen. And, and uh, you know, I think your conversations with God probably help you get through that kind of stuff. A lot of stuff. Uh-huh. A lot of stuff. And uh, you take the good with the good and the bad with the bad and just keep on moving, but uh, it is a hard road. It is a hard road. It, it, no, you know, we get up there and, and, and they see us up there having a good time, you know, and there's a lot of hard work that goes into that. That, that. that 45 minutes or hour, whatever we're up there playing, you know, they see that and, and then we go back to the bus and, and everybody has a good time, but um, uh, prior to that, all the work that goes into that, and right after that, there's more work that goes into it. So it, it, it's it's always a lot of work to get to that uh, to that 40 minute or 45 minute or hour set that we get to do. A lot of work goes into that. A lot of work that nobody ever sees. Nobody ever sees that. All those big concerts you go to at all the big arenas. A lot of work goes into that. And for that hour that you're up there and you're enjoying yourself, that's that's the party right there. But the party does end. I can tell you that right now. The party does end. Very Until good. To the next party. There you go. How about well, that? Well, Jimmy, thank you so much for taking the time to interview us. You're so welcome. And uh, we'll have this me. up for you and get you a link over to some pictures, and we wish you nothing but success in your career. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm proud to be here. Cocoa Beach, Florida. Woohoo! <laughs>